Hi and welcome to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've done an epic empties video. In fact, it's been almost one year. So as you can imagine, I have quite the collection of products to share with you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First category I wanted to share is makeup. Have not been wearing a lot of it, if at all, in the last year. So the first product I have to share is the Lancome Teint Idol Ultra Cushion liquid cushion compact and this has SPF 50. To be honest, I haven't even completely finished it, but I just felt like it was going bad because I've had it for a few years. It was quite interesting to use. I probably would not recommend it. I just found it was a bit too shiny for my liking and I could only use it in the summer months because I had a darker shade. I also used up the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara which I really enjoyed. It just comes with a really small brush. As you can see, it's super thin, so it's really great to get those lashes coated. I would definitely get this again. The last product I have a staple in my collection is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, which I use on my eyebrows to set them in place. This is a holy grail of mine. I've been using it for probably like six years and I have a backup ready to go. In the beverage category, kind of random, but I have these Hannah Beverages lattes. So I've shown this one in the past in probably an empties or a haul. It's their matcha flavor and it's really good. It basically has everything you need. You just have to add hot or cold water. It's great to drink winter or summertime. And then because it seemingly got discontinued on iHerb, I tried the cocoa and coconut latte, which was all right, but I really preferred this one and hope they get it back in stock soon. I also finished up the Doctor's Best MSM powder. I swear by this stuff to maintain strong hair, skin, and nails. I have noticed it makes a big difference for me personally. And this one is vegan. I repurchased one in like tablet form, which has been doing its job. <laughs> so it's good to know that you can get it in both forms, either powder or in a tablet. And then I finished up two toothpastes, the same ones that I always like to show on here, the Xylee White Platinum Mint Toothpaste Gel from Now Solutions. I swear by these to keep my teeth nice, clean, and white. Moving on to hair products. I have a bag full of mostly shampoos and conditioners, I believe. So it looks like I've been washing my hair a lot these last few months. At the start of the pandemic, I loaded up on a ton of Eve Hachet shampoos and conditioners um, because I was out and um, so I ordered these online since stores were closed. I have the volume and substance gel shampoo, the brilliance gel shampoo, I have the gentle detangling shampoo and another shine gel shampoo. I wouldn't say there was one I preferred over another, they all did a decent job and they are really affordable which is really nice. I'm still using a conditioner so it takes me a while to go through a conditioner compared to shampoo, but I am a big fan of Yves Rocher hair products. I also have these two Marc Anthony products from their Nourishing Hemp Oil line. We have the Essential Moisture Shampoo and the Essential Moisture Conditioner, which are both lightweight and they're free of sulfates, SLS, parabens, phthalates, and silicone. I was very, very impressed by these and I love supporting Canadian brands. This is a brand that's been around for over 20 years, but I only got to try their products quite recently. And so far, I am very impressed. Then the two conditioners I used up are from Ren Pure. I have the Tea Tree Lemon Sage Refreshing Conditioner and the Restorative Hemp Oil Moisture Therapy Conditioner. So I shared the shampoos in a past empties and then I managed to finish these conditioners after. So these are vegan, they're free of gluten, dyes, propylene, glycol, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and formaldehyde. So these are, I believe, even cleaner than the Marc Anthony ones. I did prefer the Marc Anthony one, these ones. I feel after a while they just started weighing my hair down. So if you're looking for something more lightweight, definitely go with the other duo. A new brand I got to try is Rain Cry Shine. Again, this is a Canadian brand and it just appeared on my doorstep. I don't even know who sent it to me. I was so highly impressed by their products 
and I managed to first use up this polishing wash which is basically a shampoo and it's charcoal based so it actually comes out like gray but don't worry it doesn't stain your bathtub or anything I really 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 liked this I'm currently finishing the conditioner and I also have like a leave-in detangling spray that I'm using which I'm like obsessed with it's probably my favorite I've ever tried and it really works well. So um, if you're looking for a Canadian brand to support, check out Ring Cry Shine. And then I also used up the Garnier Whole Blends Restorative Shampoo, which I did a whole Instagram post on last summer. I finished this shampoo first. This is the one in Castor Oil Remedy. Really enjoyed this. I actually finished it last night. So my hair is like super clean, super soft, and it smells amazing. Another hair product I have is the Agave Healing Oil Treatment. This I've had for so long. I managed to finally use it up. I'm really bad when it comes to like hair care products other than shampoo and conditioner. It takes me forever to use them. But this was a very rich oil treatment. So I would use this right before like washing my hair. I would put it in and leave it in for like an hour. It helped. I believe with making my hair softer and smoother when I was just feeling like it was starting to go really dry. I need to look at what else they offer. And then another product from Yves Rocher I used up is their Perfumed Mist in Lavender and Blackberry. And this you can use on your body or your hair. Gotta love a versatile product and I really liked the smell of this. Definitely like super relaxing. I basically used it both in my hair and on my body, mostly in the summer months, I would say. And last but not least, the products I always end up having the most of is body products. So let's dive into this last big bag. I managed to use up three SPF related products last year. The first one is a face moisturizer, the Centella Green Level Safe Sun from Purito. Really, really like this stuff. It's so lightweight. Purito is a Korean skincare brand and they make really great products. I have a blog post on this, so I'll make sure to leave it down below. Then from Yves Rocher, I finished up the Solar Pou Parfait Sunscreen Lotion. This is my second tube that I've used up in the last few years. I really like it because it's perfume-free, super lightweight, non-comedogenic, non-greasy, and I use this all over my body in the summer months when I enjoy basking in the sun. And I also used up this new discovery, which I managed to use up in like two months last summer, the Kula Pina Colada SPF 30 Body Sunscreen Spray. Smells absolutely amazing. I like how easy it is to apply. It doesn't feel too greasy and it's made with over 70% organic ingredients. This was my first Kula product that I ever tried. I'm so impressed and I want to try more, definitely. Next, I used up the Azelic Age Refining Skin Polish. This is meant for your face, but towards the end, I actually used it on my feet. It's a great mechanical exfoliant, so it really helped like get rid of dry skin. I actually really liked it. It's meant to be used like two to three times per week. They have some other really good products that I wrote about, so I'll make sure to leave that article below too. Then I have a few body lotions that I used up. The first one from Yves Rocher is their soothing lotion. A big tube, as you can see, really convenient with the pump. And it is fragrance-free, contains organic witch hazel. As the name implies, super soothing and contains over 98% ingredients from natural origin. So this is a really great option. One I was obsessed with as well is the Coco Cabana Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This I just got from Sephora as a birthday gift. I really liked it. The smell is very strong but quite pleasant, but I think I prefer the original one, which I might have in here because I believe I finished it last year, but their products smell amazing. They're so expensive, but if you want to treat yourself, definitely go for it because everyone and their mother has been talking about these products, which I don't blame them because <laughs> I'm part of that crew now that likes to talk about them. Next from Palmer's, I finished the Daily Skin Therapy Cocoa Butter Formula. This is a very rich balm, so again, I mostly use this on like my feet, elbows, when I had dry skin. I'm a fan of Palmer's. They make a balm, I believe, in stick form, which I've used in the past. I like their lotions as well. They're really affordable. You can get them like at Walmart here in Canada. They smell really nice too. Another body lotion I liked from OC, the Anti-Aging Body Balm. This had more of like a greasy 
film so definitely like put a robe on before slipping your clothes on <laughs> as with all their products it contains algae it's vegan gluten free and it contains like raw virgin coconut oil and a few other botanical oils it smells amazing very nourishing very rich on the pricier side but worth it in my opinion then a few shower gels from Yves Rocher. I have the Energizing Bath and Shower Gel in Peach and Star Anise. And I also have the Yves Rocher Ultra Rich Shower Nourishing Shower Cream. This stuff is amazing. I love it so much. Um, I think you could even use it like to shave, but I didn't try it. I just basically use that as an in-shower moisturizer. So once you come out, you don't even have to apply a cream. So it's really cool. This is basically a gel one. It's very nice too, but I think the other one has more like long-lasting effects. So I really, really recommend it. I also have more Yves products. As you guys know, I'm a fan. I have their Hand Beauty Care Long Lasting Moisturizing Hand Cream. This time of the year, with winter, it gets really cold here. Um, I went on a walk earlier, it felt like minus 25 degrees Celsius, so it's always nice to have a moisturizing hand cream once you get back from a walk like that. I believe it has like chamomile or arnica, but it's very nice, very soothing. And then I also have this anti-pollution and detox daily exfoliating cleanser from Yves Elixir Jeunesse. That's the line it's from. So I liked using this on my face, on my neck, on my chest. This is great at removing dry skin. This I like using even on my feet. It is again a mechanical exfoliant. I also use this exfoliant, this is the purifying scrub from their Cibo Vegetal line, again Yves Rocher. This one I didn't use as much on my face towards the end and more so on my chest and on my feet. I would use this like two to three times a week. And more Yves Rocher product. This is from I believe a couple of years ago. Their first snowflakes hand soap smelled so good. They had a shower gel in that scent as well. And then another perfume I finished up again from Yves Rocher is Garden Party. Mmm, smells so nice. They sent me a bunch of different scents, so I'm still using some up, but this was the first one I managed to use up. It has a very floral uplifting scent, so if you're into that, definitely check it out. A new brand discovery for me last year was Banish. Well, I actually knew of them, but I hadn't tried them before. This is their Vitamin C Beauty Elixir, which is basically a facial mist. And if there's one product in skincare that I love, it's a uh, facial mist. Um, so this was just a tiny little bottle, so I used it up rather quickly. I'm currently using a few of their other products, which I have a full blog post dedicated to Banish. So I'll make sure to leave that below in case you want to read more. Another one I thoroughly enjoyed is the Rosewater and Glycerin Deep Hydrating Mist from Heritage Store. I know they have the original one with Simply Rosewater, but I gave this one a try first and it's amazing. And if you go online and check out reviews, they're basically all five star positive. Um, I need to get more of this. I'm just going through a few other facial mists, but it's super affordable and it's high performance. So definitely look into this if you haven't tried one. Another brand I'm a big fan of is Pixie. So let's see, I have the Pixie Nourishing Sleep Mask, which this is the second tube I'm finishing. It's an overnight skin moisturizer, but I did use this daytime under makeup. It performs really well. You just need a small amount. I also also finished up their rose cream cleanser so this contains rose and chamomile flower it's very soothing super gentle and it smells really lovely I use this in the shower I pretty much always go through these super quickly I'm currently using their coconut one and then I believe they came out with these last year the year before but I tried two of their vitamin C products first one is the lotion so again it's just a brightening moisturizer you can use on your face very simple and it did its job very well and then this vitamin C serum which I used right underneath and it's basically like a concentrated brightening Serum. Vitamin C is all the rage right now. It has antioxidant properties, so it's very good for your skin. You just need a few drops and then it really helps the lotion sink in nicely. I actually forgot, I also have the caviar balm from this thing, Vitamin C line. So this is basically a leave-on mask, so it's definitely thicker. Something I would use at night. You don't have to rinse it, which is awesome. Another skincare brand I really enjoy is Paula's Choice. So I have their Power Berry Serum, which was so nice. Um, it had a cute 
pink color. Very lightweight, goes really nicely basically under any moisturizer. It contains 15 fruit extracts, 95% natural and helps with multiple signs of aging and it helps revitalize the look of damaged skin, which I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Taking care of my skin at this point in my life is a top priority. Found this other SPF product that I forgot to include earlier, but it's the Resist Smoothing Primer Serum. So it helps prime, protect, and perfect. It contains active ingredients of avobenzone and octinoxate, among others. And you just need a small amount, you can apply this under your moisturizer, which is great if you have a moisturizer without SPF, you can just use this underneath. A brand I got to try for the first time last year as well is Carez. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is their nourishing probiotic gel cream with Greek yogurt. And it's really cool, these products are made in Greece and it just makes me wish I was there right now. Greece is beautiful if you've never been, highly recommend it. It was really cool, I love the gel cream texture. I'm always a fan of those kinds of hybrid products and it's very hydrating. It's a pretty good standard moisturizer. Then from Sotis. I finished their Hydra Hyaluronic Acid. I actually finished two of these. These are the Hydrating Youth Cream and Hydrating Comfort Youth Cream. I'm a fan of their products. They're definitely pricey. Are they worth it? I think it depends on the product. These ones, I would say, were just like more of a standard moisturizer, but it's really nice that they had Hyaluronic Acid, which I'm a big fan of but I probably would not get these again. And then from Sotis, I also have the Nutri Soothing Mask for sensitive skin. Um, it has spa thermal water, felt very luxurious. I actually really liked this. You have to leave it on the skin for about 10 minutes and you can then rub in the excess or you can just rinse it off. Very rich um, and luxurious for sure. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So this is like their original super famous product that smells so intoxicating. The smell lingers forever. Um, I love it so much. I need to pick up a big tub of this. I also got to try the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is just a small sample. This was really good. It's basically like a protein moisturizer, which is interesting. It's very lightweight. I like this as a like no fuss daily moisturizer. It doesn't have SPF, so that's something to keep in mind. Then from Derma E, I have the Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. Their products are all 100% vegan, which is awesome. And it was cool like seeing the contrast between this product and let's say some of the Pixie ones I tried. I actually think I preferred the Pixie ones, but this one is still very nice. Again, use this under a moisturizer daily and it is very great at like making the moisture stay put even longer. Another product from OC is the Advanced Protection Cream. I would say this was a bit more on the oilier side, so it would take a little while longer to sink in, but you can use it day and night. I really like their products. Their products are made in glass packaging, so they have very good shelf life and they're more friendly for the environment because of that. Another moisturizer I used up is from Ami. This is their Morning Light Hydrating Daily Moisturizer. I did a blog post on a ton of their products, so I think I ended up using this on my feet towards the end just to use it up. And this is a British brand, so if you're looking for like a vegan, vegetarian friendly brand from the UK, definitely check them out. And this is the final Yves product I have to share. This is their Ultra Rich Shower Comforting Shower Balm. I just had a sample of this. I have used the big tube in the past. This is so great. Again, something you can use in the shower and you don't need a moisturizer afterwards or a body lotion. Highly recommend it. Then from Dermalogica, I have this mini multi-active toner spray. This smelled really strong. I probably wouldn't get this again, but I like the concept of misting a toner onto your face as opposed to having to use a cotton pad. I definitely had to like close my eyes, cover my nose because it was very strong. And then coming down to the last few skincare products, this one I actually didn't even finish, but I can tell it's getting old. It's the Juviance Color Booster. This is really cool. You could just add it to your moisturizer to get a bit of a tint. I really like this for like in between seasons like spring and summer just to add a bit more color to my complexion. I also have this small Hydra Bright Pro 5 Liquid Exfoliant from Glow Skin Beauty. I did an at-home peel treatment and this was part of it and it did a really good job. I mean my face was peeling for like almost two weeks, but now my skin feels so rejuvenated 
And since we can't go into a spa, get a treatment, this is a great at-home alternative. I also have this from Hand Chemistry. It's their Heel Hydration Complex. So it's for cracked heels and hands. So it's like a heavy-duty cream that I really enjoyed. I've had this for a few years. So this brand is owned by Desiem, which also makes the Ordinary products, which are very, very popular. So if you haven't heard of Hand Chemistry, definitely look into it. And the final skincare product I used up is is the Boo Bamboo Bamboo Fiber Charcoal Sheet Mask. This was really cool. It contains strawberry green tea and activated charcoal. And the mask itself was gray. So you just leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. It's really great at refining your pores. Another product I really enjoyed from Surya Brazil is their chocolate and mint lip balm. As you can imagine, smells really good and I mean if I tasted it and swallowed a bit of it, I, I guess it wasn't that bad. But yeah, very moisturizing. And then the last two products that I have to share are natural deodorants. The first one is the Laftika Urban Beauty Natural Deodorant. This one is unscented and unisex. It's paraben and aluminum free and non-toxic. I really like this, but as with most natural deodorants, you have to reapply throughout the day. I used this a lot last summer. And then I also used the Kaya Naturals, the Takasumi Detox Bamboo Charcoal Deodorant in Lime Mint. This was super interesting. I bought this on a whim just because I was so curious. It contains no aluminum, no irritating baking soda, and no synthetic fragrance. And is 99% natural and vegan. And this is a Canadian brand. Really cool because it appears as a charcoal color in this bottle, but once you apply it, it basically becomes invisible. The main ingredient is water, which is interesting too. Didn't really smell much to me even though it is lime mint flavored, but again, I did have to reapply this a few times throughout the day. So that concludes my empties for the last year. I know it was a lot. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you plan on trying any of these products. I always like to hear from you guys in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!